This is the triple output power supply used at Purdue South Bend. The outputs are variable, so we call them by the magnitude of their largest output. The positive 18 volt supply related to the common, the 20 volt supply related to the common, and the negative 20 volt supply related to the common. Note there is a ground connection, which none of the supplies are directly related to. So unless there is a specific reason to use it, one should never connect to the output. All of these connections are female banana jack connections. They only connect to the exposed contact cables and not to the safety banana jacks. This is a purely mechanical problem, so we will not discuss here. When the power is turned on, all the supplies are active. The selector switch on the top left is only to connect the analog voltmeter and current meter to an output. The primary source being used in the system should be the active selection so that any excessive current draw can be noticed. Now that the supply is powered on and the selector switch is in the positive 18 volt position, the dial on the bottom left can be used to adjust the voltage magnitude out at the positive volt terminal. Note that the meter reads along the bottom of the arc for the 18 volt supply. By moving the selector switch to the positive 20 volt position, the status of that output is now monitored. It currently reads approximately 10 volts DC along the top of the arc. The dial in the bottom right controls the magnitude of output at the positive 20 and the negative 20 volt terminals. The current meter is also connected to the positive volt terminal at this time but reads 0 amps because nothing is connected. Now the output reads approximately 20 volts DC. With the selector switch changed to the negative 20 volt position, the magnitude of the voltage remains in sync with the positive 20 volt terminal until the dial on the top right is changed. By adjusting the tracking ratio dial, the negative 20 volt terminal voltage can be lowered in magnitude by a percent. Here it is adjusted to 50% or 10 volts DC. The positive 20 volt output is unchanged. It still reads 20 volts DC. The negative 20 volt reads 50% or 10 volts DC. As the positive 20 volt output is reduced to 10 volts DC, what does the negative 20 volt output now read? Remember, the tracking ratio dial is still at a 50% position. The negative 20 volt terminal now reads 50% of 10 volts DC or a magnitude of 5 volts DC. By readjusting the tracking ratio back to its locked position, the value remains to the full magnitude of 10 volts DC. Remember that this value is actually negative in relation to the common terminal. So in other words, if one measures the voltage from positive 20 volt to the negative 20 volt at this time, there would be a total delta voltage of 20 volts DC. And as always, power down equipment and clean up when you are done.